everybody, it's Karen from Order for Acrylics. How are you? Thanks for tuning in uh, to the show. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to Anne for sending me the most lovely email. It touched my heart, so thank you, Anne. And also to Deborah for supporting my channel. Most appreciated. You guys are the best, uh, really. Um, today, I'm going to be brave and attempt a commission piece, which I never ever film and this is actually attempt number two um maybe you guys will bring me some luck so i had a client who bought a picture uh, a picture a painting from um a gallery here in, in my hometown and she's in possession of the piece but it's this one here uh this is a deconstructed bloom it's video number 302 i'll put that up you know, up there somewhere in case you missed that video. Except this time, um, instead of the reds and golds, she wants it in blue, black, um, very specifically Prussian blue, gray, and white. But I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, artist liberty and add uh, another color, just because it's gonna need a little bit of bling um, and maybe just a hint of sparkle. So. It's going to be on 12 by 24. Let me get you down and get started. This painting is called A Giant Fail. And scrape up all the paint off my tarp. I use my handy, I hold the tarp taunt and I use my handy paint scraper. And I go again with the leftover paint. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just going to paint. I'll yell out colors as I go along. This is black cell activator that I'm gonna use as a color. There's only a tiny bit left. So we're just gonna put this on the bottom. So somebody yelled at me in one of my videos in the comment section that I was entirely too picky on what was wrong with me and that I ruined a perfectly good pour. So, well, maybe they, maybe they won't think this was a perfectly good pour because this was a disaster. Uh, so look at that sinking already. That's fine. I have this homemade color I made up that's uh, Primary Cyan by Golden with uh, some Atelier um, Payne's Gray and a little bit of Add Sparkle, some Sweet Tart um, pigment from Primary Elements from their Glitz collection, which is amazing. Let's put a bunch of that on top of the blue. Let's throw in some silver from Amsterdam. Oh no, this is golden. Let's put some Payne's Gray on top of the silver. Let's see, Atelier Fluid Acrylics, Payne's Gray, their version. And then some Prussian Blue. From Amsterdam. We're gonna blow this all to hell and we're gonna tilt it all to hell. I've got my white cell activator, titanium white. We'll do a puddle at a time. So, uh, let's do low fan cool air. Screw it, let's go high fan. side 
lots of cell activator this time. with the hair dryer that was deliberate because I didn't want um, hard lines or not hard lines but like blobs of color and I need paint on up here this is probably not a good idea to film <laughs> but I had the most amazing pour the other night that I didn't film, and when I posted the pictures, you all were like, you didn't, where's the video? And I didn't have one. So I figured, from that one, I'm just going to throw on the camera for everything, because it's just safer. So if I don't talk sometimes, that'll be why. This is actually looking kind of pretty, just the way it is. I'm just scooping stuff off my tarp. This is from a leftover pour, and I don't want to waste all this house paint. Especially since you're just going to tilt it off again. And I'll tell you the truth. My um, recycled paint can is almost full. <laughs> and I was like, if I, because I gather it all up, like in a, you know, in a pouch, and then I snip the end and pour it into my house, um, in my this can and then have my husband recycle it and it's almost full so I was like oh because I you know empty can use it to recycle and it's like this chain and I was like I don't have another can because I stopped buying them once I started using house paint so much all right let's I'm just staring to make sure it's all collected everywhere. It is, I like all the colors. Um, I do wanna to mention too that because my cell activator was rather thin, it was four to one, my titanium, Amsterdam titanium white with Australian flow troll, quite runny. But when you put it on top of Prussian blue, which is a very transparent color and you have a white cell activator like that it is definitely going to make the blue there's no stopping it you're going to get blue lacing if you want it that's great if you don't make your um, cell activator a bit thicker all right let's move things around shall we My husband's um, home from work and he's downstairs working on some bicycle project and I can hear him swearing. <laughs> so we're both kind of grumpy. I want to go off this one corner. There doesn't seem to be enough paint. All right, let's go off my way first then since that's where the paint seems to want to go. I want to go one line. So this is um, my third attempt at this piece. 
and I already know that I'm going to cut the fail that you guys you just saw the scraped results I'm going to cut it and I think what my problem was is because it is a commission I was just so careful and just that's why I don't film commissions I was just so so careful and, and picking over every little thing that it I kind of I just ruined it that's what I'm gonna say I have a blump a blump that's a that's a combination of a <laughs> a bump and a clump <laughs> off you go still need to do I need to get up this end I might have to add some extra paint um, the two corners um oh, actually so far so good kind of thrilled um, it's all underneath the canvas I'm gonna have to turn turn you guys off for a second because I need to move the canvas to get to my leftover paint because I'm gonna tilt this this has got to come up here right and then the only thing I have left to really worry about is this um, as for the leftover gray she wants gray anyway so this is actually really quite pretty it's not muddy at all this is beautiful so um, yeah let me scoop up some paint can I do it in front of you guys let me see I'm gonna make sure I don't drip let me make room I'll just show you what I'm gonna do in case you want to try it yourself so I'm just gonna put another cookie cutter there I'm gonna pick this up and you'll see all the mess from the fail before right there there's hardly any paint left my painters tape is falling off let me scooch this guy down a little bit and then put him right there make sure I don't split and then take my paint scraper and if I hold the paper taunt like this because this is all usable it gets bubbles like ordinarily I would put this in a container and um, let it sit so all the, those bubbles pop but I'm just gonna pour this on this one end and I know you can't see because I'm off camera up there right there and I'm gonna scoop some and just set it where am I gonna put it because I don't want to go around the problems of painting in a confined space we're just gonna set it over here we'll set that down okay now I'm gonna put this back so you guys can see <laughs> I don't think any other fluid artist has the problems I do I swear all right take this back there's the two cookie cutters there put my hand around Oh, there's one right there okay there and here okay got left paint up there take this oh I did it and we'll pour a whole bunch right here we're gonna squish it up in there so that it wants to run off and this looks easier so let's tilt mind frame yeah let's tilt to that corner and get rid of it now hopefully Get over, 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 go, 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 don't lose too much. You want to keep that swirly bit. Bring everything back, take it back to the middle. Get it back. And then when it's in the middle, take everything the other way. And it's going to all stretch out on the bottom and scrunch up at the top, but we'll unscrunch it. But right now it seems to be headed over there all right one side let's bring it back down for a second it's going to get all deconstructed which is the idea even though i really liked how it looked a second ago i did back toward the middle a second back 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 
and then over to this other corner. And I'm going to doubly ensure you got to get rid of that corner and then I'll play with the composition. I got a couple speckles that's from the bubbles in the house paint. Um, I have plenty of leftover paint though, like a ton that I will, I'll actually let this dry and save my paint and then just go in with my, um, I have a super fine paintbrush and just touch those up. And all right, so lots of paint there. Let's take my palette knife and just kind of squish it against the other paint underneath so it knows what to do, give it some direction. And then let's take off this corner. Good. Off you go. Yep, you, yep. Who me? Yep, you. Go. All right, there's one bit of paint that wanted to run. Let's see if I can get it to run back. And then take everything back kind of to the center. And then once it's to the center, I'm going to come back down so it doesn't look squished at one end and bunched up at, or, you know, spread out at the other. Kind of tilt side to side as well. I don't like stretch marks or like really big stretch marks. So yeah, getting a bit of flocculation from using the, the um, paint. And I don't like, let me stop. So, let me grab paper towel and wipe off my fingers so I can point. Um, I'm going to take my stick. So, like, where I have flocculation all in here, this is easy to touch up. But first, I'm going to do something with this line. And just have it kind of go the other way a little bit. So I don't like the hard, the hard line right there. And kind of just break this up. What I do is grab the little bit of white and just kind of drag it in a circle. Just to soften that piece up. I just didn't like it. Although I have it on both sides. I have it here and here. Now I feel like a teacher with my pointer. Um, but this stuff here, you can you can stand here with a little skewer and dunk them. That's one way. Like you gotta have good aim too. Like this, I'll do a couple, like in the really obvious areas here because that part right there is really pretty so let me stop and, and look at this I think <laughs> I think I should trust I think we all should trust in our own abilities and just go for it sometimes. Like I was, I, maybe I'll leave that feeling. I was so careful the first go around that you guys, I don't know, depending on how long this video is, you may or may not see, I was being so careful about every little piece. Like I had like a bikini corner that I kept futzing with and then I decided to tilt it off and I ended up ruining the whole composition at the bottom. And then I spent like 10 minutes fixing it I only to have like another bikini corner and I should listen to my own rules and you know if 80% of the painting is fabulous you just stop um, so yeah this is like um, today is all about trusting in your own abilities so I am I'm not gonna do this all on camera 
because I am going to stand here and do like some of just the more obvious ones. It is easier sometimes, like if it's a, um, a solid color, where do I have one that's a solid color where I don't really, it's going to be easy to match up. Um, like the, the primary cyan color would be super easy to match up with the paintbrush after the fact. Some of these little guys I actually kind of like. So I'm going to leave them. There's not too many up in here. I don't like this right here. So dunk some of that white away. Um, and I have a big one right here that we can just dunk it using the other side of my skewer. Now it's white. That's, um, that's Payne's gray right there. That's easy to touch up with Payne's gray. These guys here. You get the idea, right? Um, one last look. I think I say, ta -da! That is a, that's a winner and a great, great use of the leftover paint. Let me uh, get cleaned up. I have one little bikini corner that I am just going to ignore. And besides, I have no clean paint to uh, do anything with it. Uh, and get you guys down for a close up on the wet results. Okay guys, here's a uh, close-up of the wet results here. Uh, consider this the bottom of the canvas. Uh, after I'm done filming, I will stand here with my little stick, popping the little um, areas where there's little bubbles, like a couple ones there. I'm not gonna worry about all of them, um, but a couple of them I'll go ahead and remove. That's from the bubbles from using the leftover house paint. I love the uh, shades of gray and the Payne's gray into the Prussian blue. I'm pretty sure my client is going to be happy with these colors. And she wanted something in the middle, um, pretty much like the one she bought. So that is dead center. I think it's gorgeous. Just a lot of movement and uh, good colors. She wanted black and gray and Prussian blue. So uh, I'm hoping she likes this a lot. I do. I hope you guys too. There's the top. Really, really happy. Um, let me turn it this way so you can see it up high. Like that. There she be. Great use of uh, leftover paint though on my tarp. Let me uh, say goodbye. That's it for me uh, today, guys. Um, I wanted to mention a couple things before I sign off is uh, I realized I did not show you the first iteration because I did do um, this pour previously and I mentioned it during the fail. It was this guy here. So this is what the first one looks like and I just wanted to point it out. Um, I don't like this dark area. So I'm gonna show it to my client and she can pick between the two. Um, the lacing here, see how it's more white? That's because my cell activator was three to one and today it was four to one. And because it was thinner, it absorbed that Prussian blue color and gave me those that light blue lacing. So uh, keep that in mind when you're um, doing your blooms. See how it's light blue down here a little bit, but not like the one um, I just showed you. And then um, I got a lot of love for a painting I posted on all the Facebook groups that I wanted to show you guys. And I didn't film it like an idiot and I gotta learn to just keep the camera on. Um, and I think I do that a lot of times be, is because I don't talk, you know. I don't talk to myself, I'm lost in my own thoughts and uh, just painting um, for myself and that's what happened here. But maybe I'll, I'll start filming and then just set those videos to music or something because I did this guy uh, I'm so in love with it. I, a couple of you have asked if it's for sale and I'm just, I gotta hold on to this one for a while. This one was basically taking all the leftover paint colors that you just saw, um, putting down a white puddle, put some colors all in a row, and then I went to um, do just a swipe with negative space and I had too much of the white cell activator on my palette knife, which is this smear here and 
since it didn't lace up or anything, I was like, oh well, and then I just tilted it, and I just kept tilting it and tilting it, and that's how I came up with this piece here. So don't give up on yourself, uh, keep at it, use leftover paint. You know, even if it turns to mud or whatever, you could still, you know, get lucky like I did today and get a really nice painting, or at least you'll experiment and maybe learn something new. So that, and then finally, Fingers crossed because, you know, plans can be fluid sometimes, but I'm hoping that uh, Sarah Mack, fellow artist, uh, is out and about traveling and she might be able to stop here at my house on Sunday and we have a little pour planned for you guys. It should be a lot of fun. So that'll be in the next video. Um, I'll show the dried results of this guy in that video at the beginning um, so I can get this video up tonight. Until then, take care and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, peace out.